Hey all, Xena back here for some more Make a Good 48 Hour Magman level. Last time I covered uh, this stage, it lasted for a couple years. Alright, here we got 93rd Floor of the Fly Traps Lanes. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, I've heard this music before. This was used for a. Uh... Yeah. Welcome to the spongy cave of sponges. More sponges. There are a lot of sponge. Okay, so this is a uh, Mega Man 1 Wily 3 aesthetic. Oh. Oh, what the heck. Already? Darn, looks like the teenager screwed up the engine. That is the third time this week. Um, okay. I think these graphics are from Kirby's Adventure? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh. Um, okay. Well, that was, uh, stupid. So I'm just gonna use... Wait, what? I couldn't even jump. What the heck? Okay, for some reason I couldn't go any higher there. That was weird. No, no! Okay. Yeah, I don't... I'm not gonna bother dealing with that. What? I literally... Okay, wait. I think my keyboard is being a bit unresponsive. I just could not move right there for some reason. Okay, these red tiles are a bit ugly looking, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually genuinely kind of confused why uh, some of the background tiles are missing. Does this person not know how to place tiles behind objects? I feel like that might be the case. Also, yeah, this this level feels like really, um, how should I say, cobbled together so far. Like, okay, you have the napalm gimmick from Game Boy 4, and now suddenly Shadow Man platforms. This, uh kind of disjointed like I'm not I'm not sure where the level is gonna go from here but okay yeah I'm not I'm not gonna bother doing that and nobody else should either uh, um what exactly is going on here why is this ladder half a... Why is there a slope here? What the heck? Okay, whatever. How did I... I'm really surprised I managed to not get hit there. Um... Um... Okay. Whoa, whoa. Seems like abrupt transitions uh, are really a, a thing people in this tier like using. I'm not sure how I was supposed to know that that was going to happen the first time. Oh, mini boss. Um. All right, there we go. That worked. Oh. Um. I'm glad that's over. Okay. Cool. Fascinating. At least the level has a store. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? <sighs> at least there are a lot of checkpoints. I, I gotta hand it to you. This is um a little stupid, but at least you got checkpoints. Okay, the water physics messed me up again. Alright. Water physics. All right, this is the final stretch. Okay. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Um... Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, it seems like there are a lot of levels where people just kind of do, like, stupid things and expect people not to skip them with Rush Jet for some reason. I don't... What? 
The tiling in this level is also really weird. Oh. Oh, what is this? Is this a mini mini boss of some sort? Alright, cool. I think that's one of the challenger from the future assets. Okay, alright. That was certainly something. Good day. Oh, okay. Story. Story something. Okay, I guess that was it. Lanes. The aesthetics are a mess. They're at least kind of funny. Not just the aesthetics, the level as a whole is a mess. Signs add flavor. Okay, yeah. Single enemy. Yeah, it's lacking in substance. Yeah, that's for sure. Interesting. Yeah. Kind of agree with most of the judges here. The the napalm platform challenges were a bit weird. A bit janky. At least it was like sorta of fun and like the story was kind of funny. What is going on here? <laughs> oh oh it's a joke about the uh the, okay, I see. Alright, I think I have time for Okay. <laughs> oh no! Alright. <laughs> Alomox, oh no. Oh. Oh wait. Oh, okay, apparently I can't do that. Skullbox? Alright, let's find that thing, I guess. Okay, cool. Um, where's that box? It's gotta be somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. I think. Um... Oh, okay, is this a boss or something? No, I'm the hidden art Yakuza. Um... Box Cartel. Alright, what is this week two? No. No. Oh, it doesn't like concrete shot. Alright, boom. You're tough, not even the doc can meet him. Okay, blah. Cartel. Alright, fascinating. Truly, uh, some brilliant story development. I guess I appreciate that the, the devs put time into stuff like that, even though, uh, I'm never- I've never been too big into the stories in this game, it's just kind of, uh, a side thing. Okay, so I guess that was the- the box. Alright, well, in any case, I've probably used up enough of your guys' time. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Xeno, signing off. I'll see you guys next time for more Make a Good 48-Hour Mega Man level. Peace.